As the weather warms in the Northern Hemisphere, there's nothing quite like a night of stargazing. While many of us are unable to travel for astronomy meetups and star parties, we can still set up in our backyards and local parks to enjoy the May night sky. This month we'll receive a series of astronomical treats, planetary close approaches, meteors, and even a few special events with the moon. Never mind the fact that the Milky Way core is slowly rising as the month goes on, and you'll be able to see the that too. The May new moon takes place on May 5th, and the night will be especially dark that evening, as you'll soon discover. May 4th, Close Approach of the Moon and Saturn. After their close approach almost 3.5 years ago, the Great Conjunction in December 2020, Saturn and Jupiter have been moving visually further apart in the sky. This means that their monthly conjunctions close approaches with the Moon have been moving further apart in time too. When they used to occur in close succession, they now occur several nights apart. May 5th, Lunar Occultation of Mars. The Moon will pass in front of Mars, creating a lunar occultation visible from countries and territories, including Madagascar, Mauritius, Reunion and Seychelles, amongst others. Although the occultation will only be visible across part of the world, because the Moon is so close to the Earth that its position in the sky varies by as much as two degrees across the world, a close conjunction between the pair will be more widely visible. May 6th, peak of the Aquarian meteor shower. Meteorites always wow the crowds, and in May we have two decent chances for such celestial showers. The first one is the Eta Aquarian meteor shower, which peaks on the morning of May 6th this year. This is a better show for Earthlings near the equator, since the constellation Aquarius, which serves as the meteor shower's radiant point, will be fairly low in the southern sky. You can catch this show between late April through most of May every year, but the peak is predicted in the pre-dawn hours of the 6th. The Eta Aquarids typically produce about 40 meteors per hour. Not a bad way to kick off the month, especially if you're not able to see the penumbral lunar eclipse. Speaking of that full moon, it will provide some interference based on the parts of the sky that the moon and Aquarius will be in. May 9th, peak of the Elirid meteor shower. The Eta Lyrid, Elirid meteor shower, runs from May 3rd to 14th each year. The night of peak activity is likely to occur on May 9th. On this night, you can look in the general direction of the radiant point in the constellation Lyra to try and spot Eta Lyrid streaking across the sky. May 10th, Mercury at greatest elongation west. Mercury's orbit lies closer to the Sun than the Earth's, meaning it always appears close to the Sun and is lost in the Sun's glare much of the time. It is observable for only a few weeks each time it reaches greatest separation from the Sun, moments referred to as greatest elongation. These apparitions repeat roughly once every three, four months, taking place alternately in the morning and evening skies, depending whether Mercury lies to the east of the Sun or to the west. May 12. Mercury at highest altitude in morning sky. Mercury will reach its highest point in the sky in its Aperjun 2024 morning apparition. It will be shining brightly at mag 0.4. This apparition will not be one of the most prominent and tricky to observe, reaching a peak altitude of 18 degree above the horizon at sunrise on the 10th of May, 2024. Mercury will brighten rapidly at the start of its morning apparition as it emerges from inferior conjunction. Prior to its apparition, it passed between the Earth and Sun, at which time it had its unilluminated side turned towards the Earth and so appeared as a thin, barely illuminated crescent. May 23rd, full moon. The moon will reach full phase. At this time of the month, it is visible for much of the night, rising at around dusk and setting at around dawn. The flower moon. The sequence of full moons that fall through the year are sometimes assigned names such as the flower moon, according to the months and seasons in which they fall. Do you have questions about these astronomical events in the May night sky? Let me know in the comments below. For space updates, subscribe to Secrets of Space.